So I am blonde. I don't want to be blonde. So I'm gonna dye my hair today. So I'm gonna take you through the process of me doing my hair. Um, before we get into that though, I'll tell you how I got uh, my previous color out. Um, I didn't take any before pictures of how faded it was, but I'll insert a picture of what my hair color just was in general. It was like this blurple, blue purple color. Heads up, I yes, I am a licensed cosmetologist. So I do have access to a lot of products that are not easily accessible. Um, you can only get them at places like Salon Centric or Cosmoprof where they only sell to licensed professionals. And for any of these products, I you can get them technically on like Amazon and everything, but I don't recommend it because a lot of those times those products could be fake. And yeah, so kind of just take that into um, consideration. If you have a friend that's a hairstylist or anything, um, have them get the products for you. But I will show you what I used. Hold up, everything's under my sink. The first round that I did to get the color out of my hair, I used, some of you guys might hear about this, but Pravana Bye Bye Direct Dye. Don't fucking buy it because it's literally a um, smaller prepackaged version of a lightener that they already have. So the Bye Bye Direct Dye comes with the Pravana, the cream lightener, and then the um, Zero Lift Developer. Don't waste your money getting that because you can get actual full sizes for cheaper. I don't know how much the Bye Bye Direct Dye actually like sells for because I got this at Cosmoprof and I didn't see the Bye Bye Direct Dye there. I don't think they sell it or they were just out, but it's literally this and this. And I think it comes with a purple shampoo. With this, it comes with two three ounce tubes of the cream lightener and then you can just get this big bad boy here and more cost efficient, especially if you're like me and you have a lot of hair and it's really thick. And this is a bleach, by the way. It's not anything super crazy. It's just more um, of a gentle bleach. Um, cream lightener is a lot more gentle than powder lightener. And then using the zero lift is basically to help push the hair color out of your hair um, without driving it in. Like say like a powder lightener would with like a 20 volume developer. This is actually a lot more gentle, a lot more safe, and it actually is more effective getting my hair color out, which I have noticed. I ended up using almost a full box of this. I have a lot of hair, very, very thick hair too. I will show pictures of what my hair looked like after that. For the most part, it actually got almost all of the color out and it did actually lighten my roots to like an orange, which I was very surprised. I wasn't expecting it to not do anything, but for that much lift on, with a zero lift developer was actually pretty shocking for me. But it did lift some of my roots wherever I did overlap it. And there was a lot of residual green in my hair, which honestly is not much of an issue for me because I'm going a green teal color anyway. So for round two, I did a bleach bath, which is essentially, you know, your bleach, your developer, and then shampoo. And for that, I used some leftover of Redken Flash Lift. And I did that with a 20 volume developer and I mixed it with Head and Shoulders Shampoo. This to basically get any of that residual black out um, to do my roots and just to help kind of push out any of the green just so my hair was more even color. If I didn't get the green out, it wasn't no big deal. But I just wanted to get everything as evenly, you know, color as possible. This is what I turned out with. My hair is very sad, very dry. But that's because I had to wash it, I swear, like 30 times because the just residue would not come out. Yeah, my hair is very, very dry. It's not breaking, but it's very dry. And it, I also didn't put conditioner in my hair because when you do fashion colors, it's actually um, a lot better to do it on just shampooed hair just because everything will stick a lot better, which essentially will make it last longer. So that's my logic with that. I have a newborn child and I gotta be quick before she wakes up. I'm not gonna put conditioner in it, but I'm gonna wet my hair. When I wet my hair, it just, the product slides around a hell of a lot easier and quicker. So that's gonna be my, my new lazy mom way of doing this. I've done it before and it is effective. If you just have damp hair, just don't condition it or have any product in it. Honestly, it works just as well. Maybe not, maybe about 5% less well. My hair holds color anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference to me. That's just what I personally do, especially if I'm in a hurry. So now we're to the fun part 
Um, the color, which I'm going to be using Pravana, because Pravana's life. Pravana's honestly my favorite hair dye brand. So my goal for my color today is like a teal. That's kind of dark, but bright. And uh, more on the blue side, or more on the green side of teal. But I have four different colors I'm gonna mix together. I'm gonna be using the Pravana green. I did want to use the emerald, but Cosmoprof was out of it, so I settled for the regular green. And this green does tend to pull more blue, so I got the neon green to mix with it um, to kind of make it brighter and, you know, kind of balance out the greenness. And then I got the aquamarine, which is a more, you know, teal color in its own to just kind of mix along with it. And then on the off chance that it was too um, bluish or not bright enough, I got the neon yellow for shits and giggles. So we're gonna see how that goes. And before we start anything, um, I'm gonna change and wet my hair. So uh, I'll be right back. Cheesy edits, yay! Okay, so I have changed into clothes I don't care about, AKA my husband's shirts for when he works on cars. And I have my damp hair in my little uh, towel turban here. Let me bring you down to my bowl and let's get started. So I'm starting off with the green. Yeah, I'll start off with an ounce of this. An ounce of the aquamarine. Gonna use, oh, this hasn't even been opened yet. I also like using Olaplex just to kind of, if, if you have like a white conditioner or Olaplex or something, it kind of like, it's easier to see the color if it makes sense. Like it kind of just brings out the tone a little bit. Because sometimes these colors can show up extremely dark. Damn, I might not have even needed these other colors. This looks pretty off on its own. But we're doing it anyway because I'm not going back to the store. So let's mix in that neon green. Okay, that definitely made it a lot more green. Actually, a lot more green than I would like. That just straight up went like emerald green. Now I'm just realizing if I use the yellow, it's just going to be more fucking green. And I only have two tubes of that and I have too much hair. Shit, okay. We're gonna, we're, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Shit. Okay, I regret my decisions. That neon green like totally fucked it up. <laughs> Cause this is still very green. And I really wanted to go teal. All right, well we're gonna roll with it. Cause like I said, I'm not going back to the store and I already opened the tube. And I'm probably gonna have to use more of that neon green alone for the fact that I'm not gonna have enough products to put all this on my head anyway. So, all right, gonna use the full green tube. We're rolling with it. I'm pretty content going green regardless just because it's been almost two years since I've had green hair. See, I feel like honestly hair dyeing videos are just kind of boring at this point. Same process of watching people, you know, slap it on their head, not really knowing what they're doing kind of thing. Or maybe they do know what they're doing, but you know, these kind of videos, they kind of get repetitive. So that's why I'm talking a lot in this instead because you can only watch someone mix hair color and put copyrighted music behind it for so long, you know? Sometimes when it comes to me dyeing my hair, I kind of just like figure shit out as I go too, because 90% of the time, I don't really give a shit about my hair, like the color, because I change it so often anyways, and I've done every color under the sun, so if it doesn't turn out exactly how I want it, I just roll with it, because it's just hair. So fun trick too. What you see in the bowl is generally what you get, but a way you can kind of see the true color of it is if you take like a paper towel, do that, you can see a little bit more of how the color will be. So I'm not gonna hardcore show you guys me just slapping this shit on my head because like I said, you can only watch that so many times with dubbed over music. So I'll just kind of put a little bit on my head, show you what it looks like, and then just show you when I'm done. Ooh. Wow, this is a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be. Like I said, I'll usually start in the front like the top and front of my head. And I will outline the hairline. And then also another thing that I kind of do, especially if I'm doing like all one over, one color all over, um, I typically just kind of go through and hit the roots first before I part my hair and like run it all the way through the ends. Again, just found that it makes it a lot easier for me, especially doing my own head and makes it a lot quicker. Like I said, when I have a newborn sleeping in the other room, I'm wanting to be as quick as possible. Yep, this is basically the process. Um, I do this all 
throughout my head, front and back, and then I go through and bring everything to the end. I'm just gonna skip to the end where all, all this is on my head. So I'll see you in a second. And voila, everything is on my head. So it is now, what time is it? It is 5.38. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave this on my head. I never really know, which is kind of how long I can. Yeah, I'm gonna let this sit on my head for however long and then rinse it out and then I will show you what the end result looks like. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. Um, I was gonna try and film um, the aftermath of my hair the same day, but things didn't work out too well. Um, because a uh, little one here wouldn't let me. Ain't that right? Anything I do, I have to run by you first, right? Right? Right. But yeah, I am here with my daughter. Um, so she's gonna help me close out this video, aren't you? I do. But yeah, so this is how everything turned out. Definitely a lot brighter than I anticipated and a lot greener than I was originally going for. Um, but I dig it. It's like Joker green or Android text box green. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to not get teal hair, but get green hair. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, all of that will be in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know if I said that. If I did, then oops. You have to subscribe. Emma says so. That is the face of please subscribe to mommy. Ain't that right? Alright, that's it for this video, and until I see you in the next one, bye!